guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing part three of my Swatch My Collection series. Before we get started, I wanted to address a few things. First, um, is my hair actually. I don't think I've posted a video up here yet with my hair like this. Um, and I wanted to say I might have a couple pre-recorded videos. I don't know if I'm gonna post them yet. One is a lip swatch and de-stash of everything in all the lipsticks in my lipstick collection. And then another one is actually cutting and dyeing my hair myself. So I don't know if I'm gonna put those videos up here yet. Um, and if I don't, then there was no point in that being said. The second thing I wanted to address was a bunch of people are asking um, where I got this idea for swatching my collection and you know bringing up a bunch of different people who do the same thing. I have said in my first video that I was very much inspired by Phoebe Moon from her um, Saturday Swatch Fest series. Um, that is primarily where I got the idea to do this. All of the other channels, um, I most of them haven't heard of, so just to clear that up. Third, people are asking um, if I can do 10 polishes instead of five. The only reason that I'm doing five is so I don't get overwhelmed and therefore inconsistent with the videos. Um, I feel like five is a solid number that I can do each week with being able to edit, upload, and then still do all the other things that I do. So uh, for now I'm sticking with five, but I will keep that into consideration that you guys would like to see 10. So in the description box below, I will link my Instagram page where I'll have more swatches of these collections. If I don't leave the photos up long enough um, for your liking, you're welcome to click on that link and uh, I'll have all these pictures up there as well. I'll also link all of the indie sellers uh, sites in the description box and then if you go on my Instagram page I'll have their Instagrams linked from there and um, just as a quick note that for all these swatches I did use Marvel top coat from Super Chick Lacquer I'll also link her in the description box so last week we did mainstream polishes this week we are back to indies cycling around the first indie is from girly bits and this is called get weaponized this is a teal blue with a bright blue shimmer and a shifting flaky and I see red glitter as well. There's a lot going in here. I think this is a technically metallic polish. Um, this was really nice, completely opaque in two coats, had an amazing formula. I do have one other polish from Girly Bits that I haven't tried yet. So this was technically the second one I got, the first one I've tried. So um, I was really impressed with this. I don't have any complaints. So in my swatch photo, you are going to see two coats of Get Weaponized in a glossy top coat. The next polish is from Glam Polish, and this is called Flurry Up. This is a bright pink linear holographic with silver shredded flaky. This I got in my swap with Bethany. Um, I had got this before I got my Rydell Forever collection, so I tried this directly after that and it was a consistent formula, really nice, really easy to use, really easy to work with. You know, of course, everything was so nice. So in my swatch photo, you're going to see two coats of Flurry Up and a glossy top coat. The next polish is from a brand called Il Etate Inverness and um, I got this in my swap box with Anne. Um, and this is in the shade Chardonnay, and it's a light gray polish with a gold shimmer and a gold flaky. This is a brand that I've been wanting to try for quite a while. Um, I never got around to it because shipping from France was ridiculous when I was looking. Um, so I am super glad that I got one of these in my box from her. It was really nice. It had a good formula. It was easy to work with. Um, I mean, no complaints there. Really, there's no complaints with any of them this week. It was just uh, color preference. So, in my swatch photo, you're going to see two coats of Chardonnay and a glossy top coat. The next polish is called One More Night, and this is from the brand Foxy Paws. This is another new to me brand. This is a duochrome from a deep, dark blue to like this super nice, velvety purple. You know, two, two colors that I don't particularly wear often, blue and purple. Uh, there's also a holographic silver glitter in there. As far as the formula itself goes, it was really nice. It was, it was nice. It was easy to work with. Um, the glitter in there didn't cause any kind of 
tufts or anything like that so and it was completely opaque in two coats I will say that the glitter in there makes it a little bit difficult to remove um, they stuck to my nail quite a bit as I was getting the color itself off the glitter was sticking pretty pretty harsh to my nails so keep that in mind in my swatch photo you're going to see two coats of one more night and a glossy top coat And lastly from today is She Doesn't Even Go Here from Glitter Days. <laughs> this is a super bright pink um, holographic polish. It does have silver micro glitter in here. This was definitely my favorite um, from this video. It does dry textured. It takes two coats to be opaque. It's not difficult to use by any means. It's just a little bit finicky. It's on the thicker side, so getting an even application isn't necessarily the easiest thing to do, but it is easy to get used to, if that makes any kind of sense. As you use it, it becomes easier. So it is a little bit difficult to remove because it is mostly micro glitter, but all of that aside, this is easily my favorite of the week. So in my swatch photo, you are going to see two coats of She Doesn't Even Go Here and a glossy top coat. And that is my swatch my collection for this week let me know what you guys think of these five polishes I'm pretty sure everything here is currently available so if you're interested in anything check the description box below let me know which one was your favorite of the week and let me know if you have any other suggestions that I haven't addressed give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more from me and I'll talk to you again next time